into the NYU Game Center to help us send somebody else to school to help make some more incredible games for us. So uh, big shout out to those guys and everybody on the premium stream. Uh, they really appreciate it. All right, Sako putting on the headphones. Wants the audio cues. He might be one of those players that has helps. It helps his timing to hear the no, hear the sounds of the game. It's all kind of uh, magic poetry. Ooh, combling off of the max range, punching for it. And again, yes, he's going into the air there to try and avoid that mix up. Hopefully, yeah. catch the kunai up in the air where it's not easy for or for a to combo and follow that up. Yeah, willing to take that tiny bit of damage to get out of the mix up. Yes, it's the price that must be oh. paid. Great counter and a buki. Dropping back to that perfect distance. Don't you want to throw a fireball? I got a clean counter for it. Now he knows she doesn't have the meter, so he's able to throw those fireballs. But so far, this is all Sakonoko. There's the knockdown he needs. Sako survives. Uh, but again. Sako just to stay crouching to get under that demon for tactic. And a wake up uppercut. Sometimes the best online <laughs> tactics can win you rounds at Evolution Top 8. Let's keep it up. Fight. Break sweep. Oh, Ooh. he tried to get under there. Yeah. Sako trying to reset his distance. And that was a great counter of the low roundhouse with the fishing line of Ibuki's low strong. Hard knockdown. Goes low. Fancy. Oh, close the stun. There it is. Let's see how Sako's going to finish this off. Just right into Ultra. Straight yep. into Raw Ultra. Now Akuma, of course, a character with lower health than most characters in the game, so this should be enough to finish him up and give Sakonoko the first game over Infiltration. Now, you know, Infiltration has had a history of uh, doing less effectively against players he does not have notes on and players that he has not played against before. And Sako, uh, a lot of the great Japanese players are, of course, trained in the arcades and still training in the arcades, still a healthy scene over in Japan. Sako is sort of a mysterious mountain man who lives uh, <laughs> sort of elsewhere, so a bit of an online warrior. Even a lot of the great Japanese don't have a, as much direct experience against this guy. It's a little harder to find a huge you know amount of on intel, on yeah. yes. And also another thing is Sako, his game style is just so unorthodox compared to a lot of other players. There's this certain kind of cool calmness to his game that I don't see in a lot of other players. Very, very difficult to fluster this guy. He's been around for a long time uh, and that experience is really paying off. But right now Infiltration may have gotten a read because look at this. Mix-up is still a mix-up. Burns the meter just to keep that pressure going and it pays off. Able to close it out against Sako in round one. Of game two. What will now? the EX meter. It's one of Akuma's great Ooh. strengths. Good block. That standing forward kick hitting so much further than it looks, and it catches him with the overhead. Oh, gets him low. Look at this relentless pressure. But Infiltration, knowing he can focus and get past the third one. Oh, here we go! Just a little bit too far outside of the corner, but he closes it out with a throw. Just a walk-up throw. Explosive. Just, you don't, honestly, you don't see a player like Infiltration get scared and blocked. And Sako just taking advantage of that defense from Infiltration. Getting right in there. Ori Sakonoko, don't scare. Uh, this guy's been around. <laughs> the block. Oh, Great no! Great cross-up. This is going to be a huge, insurmountable lead. He's burning that meter, gets the hard knockdown, fakes the jab. Oh, I love it. Speaking of throws, he said, oh, you scared me, now yeah. I scare you. So. <laughs> this is loser's bracket again, three out of five. Only two players remain in winners. Great counter, risky kunai there. Good backdash. Boy, that mix up. Great clean counter on that focus attack attempt. Oh, wow. Sako almost had that red and punish with throw. Keep he's, yeah, he's not let Sako get a word in edgewise. He's trying to generate a little easy offense, a little approach with the focus attacks. They've been massively punished every time. Here we go. Good block. And I mean, Ibuki is one of those characters who can kill you in one sequence. Not going to happen here. One successful block from infiltration on that kunai. 
quickly end Sako's hopes. For that round at least. Let's see if Infiltration can keep this up. Again, lost the first game, um, but has seemingly made some sort of adjustment here. And look what's missing here. That fireball game has been put basically in his far back pocket. He's content to just sit there and throw normals and do clean counters on Ibuki's approaches. He's been very successful with that. Oh, good pressure. Oh wow, he went this a little too hard. EX into the grab. Oh no, he's oh, going straight into the ultra. It's just enough to kill. He wasn't <laughs> going to get the follow up, but that's all he needed for the victory there. So Sako tying it up 1 1 in this crucial third game. Situation so composed. The fireballs present a little bit of offensive power for Akuma, but they also present a liability against Ibuki. So he's content to just sit back there and counter her attempts at aggression. Smart. Not even giving her the chance to throw the kunai after no, he that is. up attack. Oh, what side! Burns the EX to close out the game. Infiltration going up 2-1. to one. Another god may be served for dinner. Sako closing his eyes, doing a little thinking here. We saw earlier in the day Reynolds go all the way through loser's bracket. We saw Mango go all the way through loser's bracket. We saw Justin Long go through a gauntlet himself to get to grand finals. Are we going to see the same thing with Infiltration here? Infiltration really putting himself on the map with that EX uppercut, perhaps inspired by Daigo-san, but not paying off for either of these gentlemen. We got a big punish to give Ibuki a healthy 70% lead. Oh, blocking the wrong way. And that's going to give the round to Sakonoko. Just like that, he's back. That's the danger of that Ibuki Vortex right there. Just once he gets that knife in you, and especially if he can distance it in a way that he doesn't know what side it's going to be on, yeah. impossible to predict. Yeah, should have reset the situation. Infiltration again, getting paid with the normals. Oops, that's oh. to make it safe. Gets away with the throw. Wow. And this is the explosive side of infiltration. Oh, wow. Super jumping out of the corner, but then back in. A little bit off. Wow, that was so fast. Connected with the low, but not able to complete it. Oh, oh and tried to hop it. Infiltration not, just closing it out. Not sure if that was intentional from Sako. Might have been an accidental uh, execution error. <laughs> Haven't seen him use that move at all. Down the last round of game four. This is match point for infiltration. He could send Sakunoko home right here. Trading. Nice focus dash through. Again, not being put off that focus attack, although infiltration has had the answer so far. Oh, wow, low. great counter sweep. And then an empty dive, empty demon flip throw. Counter poke again. Wow, answering back, you got pressure, not afraid, coming right in. From the front, and this should be it, and infiltration is going to take it over Shakanoko. A second god slain by the Korean machine, infiltration. Infiltration is going to be known after this tournament as the god killer, if he can keep this up.